Hello, it's Ted Corliss with News Munchies. Follow us on our website at www.newsmunchies.com. Also look for us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. News Munchies, dedicated to the legalization, medicalization, and reformation of America's marijuana laws. Welcome to News Munchies with Ted Corliss. I love CBD, but I can't tell you that I completely understand how to absorb CBD in the products that I take. Why does it take so long for the products to ultimately take effect when someone consumes them? It's my pleasure today to introduce to you someone who's really making a mark in the cannabis industry, Steve Trink from the Tech Holdings Group, who partners with Tony Alfieri, who's providing some amazing contacts, some amazing exploration in the cannabis industry. And we're gonna let him talk about his business as well as talk about some of the exciting things going on in CBD. But more importantly, I'm going to ask Steve to answer some of my questions about CBD, despite the fact that I've been poking around with her for a long time, and I, I think I can learn a lot today, and so can you. Steve, welcome to News Munchies. Thank you very much, Ted. Steve, tell me a little bit about your company, uh, Tech Holdings. Uh, you are in the cannabis industry. Tell me where in your your piece of the puzzle fits where in the cannabis industry. Well, we consider ourselves a technology company. Uh, we have basically embarked upon a path of developing uh, brands and products to satisfy the needs of both medical and adult use cannabis. Uh, consumers, and all of our products are based upon a specific proprietary technology that was actually developed by my partner, Tony Alfieri. And that, and that right, that technology is that, that has to do, is it, with the manner in which we interact with CBD, isn't it? Uh, it actually is based upon what is one of the first issued patents in the cannabis space. It's a patented technology that is a uh, product by process technology that allows for the cannabis oil, be it um, THC, CBD, or both, uh, it allows the oil built into various products to absorb rapidly into the bloodstream. And it can do that for both orally consumed products and topically applied products. Very good. Well, because my understanding is that, I mean, I can, I can offer you my own personal experience, Steve, and that is, is that, you know, a couple of years ago, I remember being in a hotel in Atlanta and I made the mistake of eating a, one half, just a half of a chocolate truffle that someone had provided to me that had THC and CBD. And two things happened. First of all, nothing happened for an hour. And the second thing that happened was when it landed, I was so uncomfortable that I had over-medicated on an edible. Tell me how your technology addresses those kinds of concerns for consumers. Well, we actually have uh, two products that relate to that. One is specifically an antidote product, which we have branded as anti-dose with a long O. And that is just a uh, hemp-based CBD-infused product that provides for rapid uptake for the uh, cannabis oil to be absorbed into the bloodstream to block the cannabinoid receptors within the body and to relieve the effects of THC. That product is aimed towards the multitude of people, including myself, who have had an experience similar to your own, where you, you find something unpleasant about the experience, and so you can actually control uh, the experience of cannabis by uh, relieving the symptoms at will. But it's also intended for people who just want that control factor, who don't have an unpleasant experience, but for one reason or another, choose to end that experience. And so uh, this antidote product is very unique in the marketplace, uses our proprietary fast uptake technology. And I uh, allows actually the oil to be more bioavailable. So you don't need that much of it uh, to provide a desired effect. No. The other product that we have is, a, is actually a THC infused product, which is also very similar form factor. It's a 
two ounce uh, beverage shot type product, which is intended to provide both a medical and or a uh, an adult use recreational benefit, but it's fast acting uh, and easily dosed, which is made in different strengths. And you can wait a few minutes to see what the effect is and decide for yourself whether you enjoy the experience or want to enhance it with an additional dose. My experience was that when I felt that I had over-medicated first, what happened to me was, and I think, again, this might be consistent with other listeners, and that is you go through a process. First of all, you almost go into a panic. Uh, it's where that paranoia kind of comes in because you literally feel like you're falling through your spine. And products like you're describing are very rare, and it would provide an opportunity for someone who either accidentally or in an, in an overabundance of enthusiasm, I guess, might have t consumed too much. I, the well, ability yeah. to, short, to short act that uh, is amazing. I think it really gives people a lot more confidence and comfort if they happen to overstep uh, their medication. Yeah, I think it's a, a breakthrough product, and uh, we're very excited about the uh, expectation of the market's response to it. Good. Well, where, and if I'm a consumer of, and I'm looking for this particular product, what part of the United States could I find it right now? Well, that product is actually available directly through our website in all 50 states. Uh, we have not sold any internationally yet. We are looking into the international regulations in multiple markets to see what we have to do to uh, offer the product internationally. But right now, because it's hemp-based CBD, it's available in all 50 states directly from us at 420antidose.com. Okay, so people can go to 420antidose.com and purchase this product, and it will come in a, is it a small liquid? It's in a liquid form. This, I'm yes, only, again, yeah. the antidose. And... Because, again, people may not understand this, most of the time, most of the CBD and THC products, ha if you buy them, and I'm coming to you today from Boulder, if I were to buy it in Boulder, it, it's probably only sold in the immediate area. But if I can go to your website, because it doesn't have certain formulations of THC that require state regulations and things like that, I can actually go to your website and it'll be delivered right to my mailbox. Is that right? That's exactly right. Okay. We Great. have not developed a retail distribution arm yet. The product is brand new. And so right now, while there is some local distribution, primarily in, uh, in Arizona through CBD Emporium, uh, otherwise it, it can be sold anywhere direct from our website. There are a couple of other websites that are selling the product with us. Uh, but 420 Antidose, A N T I D O S dot com is where you can buy it and get it within a couple of days. Oh, that's fantastic. And I'm probably going to guess that in a couple of weeks or months, we can probably buy it on Amazon. What do you think of that? You think that? I hope so. But right now, Amazon is not being very responsive or receptive uh, to our products. I don't know why, because they. They seem to have a very inconsistent approach to it, but we have had products from our health, wellness, and beauty line on Amazon and then rejected by Amazon for no apparent reason. Well, the experience, I, the experience I can share to you that's very similar to that is not with Amazon, but with Facebook, and that is that Facebook is not permitting people to sell products like yours on Facebook, but more importantly to me, they won't even allow me to really talk about it. For example, oh. if we try to promote this podcast via Facebook, it will get shut down. But I guess at some point in time, even Facebook and Amazon will come around. Uh, well, we sincerely hope so. Yeah. Now, you're, now Tech Holdings has been uh, promoting and developing these two particular product lines that you were mes mentioning. We'll get to the second one in a second. Your business, though, I don't well, very... actually, Ted, I'm sorry to correct you, but oh. we have three brands and three product lines. What I've described to you is Quigley's, which is the THC infused product line, and Antidose, which is the uh, CBD based antidote product. We have a third product line that's called the Gold Q, and that's our health, wellness, and beauty line. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. I, so I want to I want to turn. Uh, directions a little bit here change directions rather 
and talk sure. about your role as an entrepreneur because I'm assuming your educational or his, your professional history wasn't as a chemist or as a uh, biomedical engineer. Uh, tell me about your background and how it is you got into the cannabis industry. Uh, well, I, I, your, your assumption is correct. My background is primarily as, a, uh, as an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm a, a business owner and operator. I've been involved primarily in the healthcare services and the aviation services industries uh, over the last 40 years, although it frightens me to even think that. Um, I've also had a, a pretty broad experience in the leverage investment space and done a fair amount of real estate investing. But uh, I've been primarily operating businesses in the healthcare services and aviation fields. And I sold the business that I had been operating about seven years ago. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do and had the luxury of not needing to know right away. But I, I got exposed to the cannabis space really through my, my son, uh, who was graduating law school, had been a, an elected official in the town he lived in and got exposed to the cannabis space because he got recruited by a firm who was at the forefront of the industry in Arizona. And so I started to hear uh, from him about the legal cannabis industry. I was intrigued by it, uh, specifically because growing up, I had a best friend whose family was in the liquor business. And when people started to talk about the end of uh, prohibition for cannabis, I related to what I saw as the creation of generational wealth from the end of prohibition in the in the liquor business. Oh, well, so I, right. It, if you take a look my at my attention, if I could interrupt, I guess that's uh, that's how the Kennedys got started. Joe Kennedy well, was a bootlegger, uh, supported those kinds of things, got into the liquor business. I guess it'd be the same thing if Robert Mondavi decided that he wanted to move away from wine and move into the cannabis space. Well, interestingly enough, Ted, this family of my best friend is the family that bought the Kennedys out of the liquor business when Joseph Kennedy decided to go legitimate and get his uh, sons elected to political positions. Wow. Well, and your son got elected into a elected political. It got into an elected position before you even got involved. So you're already on your way. Exactly. I guess I I got involved through politics inadvertently. <laughs> sure. Sure. All right, so you, you, uh, you know, I've got this kind of feeling that, like, you and your partner, uh, Tony Alfieri, who we, we're going to get an opportunity to talk to again, that Tony has some particular, had developed some product lines in his own testing and experience. Was there a synergy then that kind of developed between the two of you, him having more of the technical industry and you having more of the business acumen? Is that a fair description? Absolutely. Tony is a, a, a brilliant guy who, by the time I met him, had already developed the technology that was not yet patented at the time, although he did have a vision of a path to protecting the IP. And so he was, he was a very experienced cannabis guy. Uh, I won't spoil his story, but he uh, set out upon a mission to develop a product that would help sick people. Uh, and in fact, by the time he introduced it to me, it was clear that he had an extraordinary technology and a very special product, but he needed some business help. And so I got involved to help raise some money and to develop some relationships that could commercialize on that uh, IP and, and product suite that he had in mind. Got it. Got it. All right, well, let's, let's go back and talk a little bit about CBD. Now, a lot of people who reach out to me either through the website or other ways talking about, you know, reaching out to news munchies and saying, my doctor tells me they want me to start taking some amount of CBD. He doesn't appear to know what kind. Or this particular uh, specialist uh, wants me to start um, introducing CBD into my diet, but she's not really telling me how. Do you have a sense of people who are being told that CBD needs to be a part of their lives, the best entry point for that process? 
Well, it's a very good question. It's, it's difficult to get the uh, entree that would be most beneficial, and that is through your medical practitioner. Um, that I think the best thing to do is to, to read up on the products online. There is so much stuff out there right now that you have to be very careful because uh, it's an incredibly hot trend to include some form of CBD in all kinds of products these days over the last, really over the last year or two at most. Um, so I, I just would, uh, I would suggest that people be careful about what they add. Uh, there have not proven to be harmful effects from CBD that's been properly produced. But again, we don't know what the origin of a lot of this product is. Well, so I you know. Need to be, right. You need to be focused on responsible uh producers and manufacturers well your comment about it showing up in all products i i think i had that the real moment of clarity about that when i recently took my daughter down to an ice cream store here in boulder colorado and every one of the bike every one of the ice cream stores every one of the coffee shops every one of the bars will offer you in most of these places here uh some kind of cbd supplement but there's no consistent way of understanding one person's CBD to another's per, another person's CBD. Uh, are there really aren't any standards or you know on a national level as to what would constitute you know appropriate products in one state versus the other? Is there? There really aren't such rules. I'm afraid not yet. Well, and you being one of the companies that offer the you know, the ability to purchase it online, that's very helpful because a lot of people may find a dispensary that provides a particular product they like, but they may not be carrying it in three weeks. That's the other problem with a lot of the dispensary businesses. They can only keep inventories for the products that their suppliers will give them. And when they run out, they have to offer you another product, which may be a different strength, it may be a different process, or it may include other things that weren't in the previous product. I, I agree with you, and I think the what you need to focus on is uh, try and stay with manufacturers who are uh, producing product under good manufacturing practices, GMP manufacturers that are using oil that is 100% uh, THC free. Uh, there are very strict guidelines about what you can and cannot use, uh, but you know it. It's, it's very difficult in today's market to discern one product qualitatively over another. Well, I think you, your company, Tech Holdings, and the brands that you've been supporting, I would encourage anyone who is looking for CBD to go to Tech Holdings' website to study their brands because I think you're going to find that quality and you're going to find that kind of consistency in the work that you're doing. Well, thank you very much for that, Ted. I, I, I just want to add that Tech Holdings actually doesn't have a website as just a technology company. Okay. The brands each have their own websites, and they are Quigley's.com, the gold Q, using the letter Q.com, and 420antidose.com. We have separate websites for each of the brands. Uh, you can't order product from Quigley's because it is an infused product and you can only buy it in legal states where it's being manufactured right now. And we'll be starting in California. So I wouldn't look elsewhere for it. But the Gold Q and Antidose are both available online, both available now, both manufactured by CGMP manufacturers with, uh, with the type of CBD that we are most comfortable providing for medical patients and adult users. And uh, we're, we're very, very excited to be able to provide and support those products. Fantastic. Now tell me, what is there anything going on on the horizon that you'd like to share with us? I suspect some of you might have to keep close to the vest. Well, what do you think we should look for in your products in the future? Well, we'll be delivering different form factors. Right now, the, the health, wellness, and beauty line is basically a topical line of uh, a, a general lotion which is aimed towards uh, affecting pain and inflammation. We found that it is extremely effective and fast acting. Uh, we also have a face cream, a day and a night eye cream and hand creams, uh, all based on the proprietary technology that makes them absorb rapidly into the bloodstream and provide 
very rapid effect. Uh, and so uh, we are working on different delivery methods. We're working on powders that you can literally carry around and put into anything you eat or drink. Uh, we're working on pills that generally compress that powder into a lozenge type of delivery method, uh, all microdose and fast acting so that you can control the onset and effect. Um, so there are other form factors. We're working on uh, tinctures and uh, oral strips and things like that that will all deliver the same type of effect through different mechanisms. And all, by the way, using Tony's unique fast acting proprietary technology. Well, I want to spend a weekend with Tony and he can take me through the lab and we can explore all kinds of new products that he has. Uh, just as long as you get me home safely, uh, everything will be great. Well, we'll make sure to do that. You let me know. I'd love to join you guys, but I can assure you that by the end of the weekend, you'll need some antidotes. <laughs> I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. So go, go ahead one more time and tell me those websites so anyone listening can go right there to look at the products and order them online. Great. Ted, thank you very much for giving me the time today. Uh, I'm very excited about the opportunity to offer uh, the Gold Q line of topical health, wellness, and beauty lines through the website, the Gold Q, T H E G O L D letter Q dot com. And the very unique and fast-acting antidote product called Antidose. And that's available through our website called 420-ANTI-DOS.com, 420-ANTIDOSE. And the benefit of that product, of course, is for anybody to have on hand in the medicine cabinet, on a shelf someplace. It's 100% safe for all users and has a very fast-acting, very positive effect on undesired effects of THC and or gives control back to the user to be able to end your THC-based cannabis experience at will. Fantastic. Thanks, St Steve. I've, I've enjoyed talking to you, and I love the ability to promote positive energy, positive things going on in the cannabis industry. And we'll look forward to keeping an eye on your products as they start showing up on all of our shelves, including those here in Boulder, Colorado. Folks, Again, thanks yeah. very much, Ted. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Great. Hello, it's Ted Corliss with News Munchies. Follow us on our website at www.newsmunchies.com. Also look for us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. News Munchies, dedicated to the legalization medicalization, and reformation of America's marijuana laws.